So you want to use resources on the web, perhaps a video, as part of your presentation or your session. What you'll need to know is how to get everything set up and then how to quickly switch to it without too much faffing. First of all, let's have a look at our browser. I'm using Chrome here, but you could use Internet Explorer or Firefox, any browser where you have tabs at the top. This is particularly useful when you have multiple resources that you're going to be drawing upon throughout your session. So here I've got uh, actually got three tabs open, each of them contains a video. These three videos I'm going to use in my presentation. However, at the moment they're in any old order. Now this RSA animate presentation is actually what I'm going to use first. So what I'm going to do is drag this tab along to the start. I'm just clicking there and dragging it. And you can use that process to reorder the tabs. Now you can do this and you should do this so that as you move along your presentation, the videos are in the same order as they will appear in your presentation. This will obviously help you keep track of all the different things you have open. You'll also notice that I've only got one browser open and only the stuff that I need in the presentation is open within this browser. So that's my tab sorted. The other thing to watch out for is ads like this. You can actually just close these ads and uh, volume levels. So each video might require a different volume level depending on the how loud it was recorded so that you're not continually having to adjust volume throughout your session before your session starts just play each video and adjust the volume level accordingly so they're roughly about equal the volume level of course for the whole computer is controlled at the very bottom right of windows in the speaker icon you click that and you can adjust the volume for the whole computer but there will be differences perhaps between the individual videos. Get that sorted before you start. During the session, um, you could also use full screen mode. And when you use full screen mode, the link on YouTube is at the bottom right of the player, brings up to full screen, you can use escape to cancel that and go back to normal. So let's look at how this would work with a presentation. In PowerPoint, I'm just going to start my presentation by pressing F5. Here's my title slide and here's my main slide. And now after this slide, I want to play that RSA animate video. And I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut to quickly jump to the video in the web browser. And to do that, I press the Alt key on the keyboard. And then I press the Tab key once, but still holding down the Alt key. This brings up the program switcher box, as you can see on the screen now, and I'm going to use the tab key again, just pressing it once while still holding down the alt key all the time. And you can see the box moved and it selected my Google Chrome web browser window. When I let go of the alt key, that then switches to that program. And here I can play my video, I can switch it to full screen if I wanted to. You will need to pause or stop the video before you switch back to your presentation. To switch back to my presentation, I still have it running in the background. So again, I press and hold the Alt key, and then press Tab, and then press Tab again to select it uh, from the selection box there. And then up comes the presentation where I left off. So it's a much quicker way of switching between the web browser and your presentation. Practice it if you've never used Alt and Tab before, but it should make your presentations flow a lot better.